Hey, Casey here with Church Mag. You can find us on Twitter at Church Mag or online at churchm.ag to find all of our resources and content. And today I want to highlight Buffer. Buffer is a scheduling tool that we use uh, and that I use personally for my social media clients that allows you to attend meetings, spend time with your kids, watch a movie, read a book, ride the bus, you know, to work or home, all while providing valuable content to your online community. So Twitter, Facebook, um, LinkedIn, uh, and so, and Google plus pages. Uh, and w what the service does is that you queue up your content uh, and then it will publish it throughout the day at times that you set. Uh, it's a really slick tool. I like the interface. It is simple yet powerful and feature full. And then we specifically want to highlight that Buffer introduced a really cool um, feature, a special tool service uh, this last week uh, to the public called Pablo. I've been using it for a couple weeks on the back end because they kind of softly, quietly launched it and I stumbled upon it somehow. And it is great because it provides a really quick, easy tool to create a graphic with some quotes. So they have done a really um, strategic partnership with Unsplash and they use their images uh, which are free for anyone to use and then you are able to then uh, create a quote graphic or some kind of you know saying or um, a, a header image if you will uh, using Buffer's tool called Pablo. So I'm going to go there right now so that you can check it out. If we go here, Buffer, Pablo, all right, design engaging images for your social media posts in under 30 seconds. That sounds like a great promise to me because whenever I'm trying to do something like this, usually I'm short on time or I'm not really good at it. I don't have an eye for design. When I'm on my phone, I'll use apps like WordSwag, PicLab, and Instagram to just get something out there. Um, but by partnering with Unsplash, you know, uh, Buffer uses these compelling images and then whatever quote or, or terms that you want to include in the graphic um, to share out to your audience. And I think it's really great. Uh, so as you'll see here, we've got a, a caption box and whatever you type uh, in here shows up in the box on the right. Whatever you type here shows up on the image. Uh, additionally, you can add this secondary text at the bottom church mag rules um, and that will show up as well you could use this like if you had a hashtag associated with it that you wanted to use um, you know if you're doing a sermon series or something like that you could use this uh, for that purpose um, you know a quote from the sermon and then we've got about 12 different um, font options here, as well as, you know, changing the size, uh, a limited amount of color options, which that's okay, because one thing I really like about this tool is its simplicity. There's not a ton of bells and whistles. There's some things that Buffer could do to make this even more versatile, like adding text alignment, like right or left or center, or, um, you know, or bringing in even more images from Unsplash. But what's really great is they keep it sweet and simple. Um, and so I really, I really like that. Uh, and so you can pick any of these images below and then it will automatically update in the back here. You can, you know, change if you want the contrast, you can make it black or white, you can make it even more blurred, um, or just normal. Uh, normal is my default setting, even though I'm not, I'm not personally normal. Um, and uh, it's just been really great. I've used this for sermons. I've used this to create header images for my blog posts. Uh, and then what's great is you just hit this little buffer button and it automatically loads your quote that you typed in the caption uh, and pulls it into you know your content as well as the image right there. And I realize that I'm pointing at the screen and you can see that. <laughs> so uh, get a... Peak. I don't know how to spell peak. Apparently, get a look at Buffer's sweet new tool called Pablo. And apparently, my fingers are dyslexic. And then you just select the accounts you want, and you can add it to your queue or send it out right away, and it'll attach that image. Um, 
so yeah, that's it. It is really short, sweet, and simple. Um, to go check it out, just go to bufferapp.com slash Pablo. And uh, let us know what you think. Share an image and, and tag us at ChurchMag. We would love to hear from you and see how you are using Pablo to reach your audience uh, and, and your church. Thanks a lot.